welcome to another episode. Today I'm taking you on another adventure. We're going to check out an abandoned smelter. It's um, just to say about a hundred years old. So we'll go see what we find over there. And these rocks are all black because of all the uh, smelting activity in uh, Sabri, Ontario. They're supposed to be a nice kind of uh, light brown. And we're coming up to the spot. It's mostly all covered in. quite the building. So there are some of the kind of molten stuff they were pouring in here. Place is huge. And here it is. We've got some really Freaky green looking water, figuring uh, copper in there, odds are. Try to find my way around this moat. So that basically the opening in front here was uh, designed for the train to come through the front. So this smelter is not far off from the original ore deposit found in Savry in 1883 by a gentleman that was working on the railroad at the time. This smelter was built by the British American Nickel Corporation and started production in 1917. Ended production in 1920. An old timer mentioned to me that the furnaces in this smelter were not properly designed and they didn't have enough heat to properly extract the copper. So this furnace appears to be the only furnace that was ever used here. And this appears to be the product that they came up with here. Yeah, you can see the copper remnants are still stuck to the wall here. And again, out of all these furnaces along here, they go a ways. This appears to be the only one that was ever used. Caught you yawning. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was digging around a little bit, found some old test tubes. I'm not sure if they were using that to measure chemicals. Don't know if uh, they're from way back in the day or not, but. Some very awesome construction took place in here. <laughs> 